where we took, uh, we didn't actually get the greatest footage, but uh, uh, most of the people left. I, I believe that the UFOs uh, or the terrestrials, uh, they didn't want to come too close. Probably they perceived the threat. And then you, actually, because there was a lot of noise, uh, firecrackers, uh, skyrockets or whatever, a lot of confusion out there. And uh, there was a lot of people setting off balloons out there. And it's just a lot of confusion. But I did manage to take one positive uh, short footage, you know, about a minute or so, two minutes of, uh, of one particular UFO that was hiding in some sky type, uh, which is the, the planes when they put letters up there in the sky. And it, it was a, a definitely a UFO. So um, I'm going to do a, my next event in about three weeks. So keep looking at my uh, Robert Bingham, uh, UFO Robert Bingham, our third phase, or you can go to robertbingham.org, which is a website, and see some of my still photos. And I should be posting a lot of uh, good footage that I'm going to do on my own without the public being there to, you know, uh, distract me. And I'm going to show people some good stuff. Uh, so just keep looking and you will see uh, that they are for reals and that they're coming. They're coming soon. And uh, they won't be frightened when they do. Uh, enjoy the footage. Uh, it's called Park West. Today's the 4th of July. And um, I'm gonna, I think it's going to be my ninth event here. So we're going to look forward to having great footage. I have a feeling we're going to get some really great footage today and uh, that will surpass all the other footage that uh, we have gotten. And we have gotten some great footage already. Uh, for all you debunkers, I welcome you to come down here and uh, try to debunk it. And all you skeptics, uh, post your comments. Uh, but uh, this is surely for reals. And, uh, the message I want to get out there is for the world, really, to recognize that we are not alone and that there are, uh, you might say, other governments, uh, galactic governments that are trying to help us get to the, uh, get to a better level of uh, living, you know, without all the things that are destroying us. Anyway, let's uh, hope for the best and uh, watch the footage. My name is Robert Bingham. Uh, people uh, on YouTube, they, well, they call me the summoner because I summon you and the UFOs, uh, being extraterrestrial. Today is, uh, I think, my ninth event that I'm having here. And uh, I'm going to summon the UFOs yeah. and I hope later on that you uh, capture some footage. Robert, uh, what was the first time that you saw uh, uh, the UFO? The first time I saw uh, actually an uh, aerial phenomenon. 12 years old during one of the moon launches that uh, I followed. Uh, saw him off and on the first of the day. Here's this guy here. Until about 13 years ago, he uh, started coming to me uh, you know almost every day. Oh, every week. And then they just started coming to me every day when I started calling. I started to practice summoning them uh, if I uh, telepathically be uh, just uh, asking about them. And then I started exercising what type of uh, gift I had. And I thought that I could be communicating with them. And I developed this uh, which you might call a relationship with them. How do you communicate with them? Like, is there a specific language? Or? No, it's all telepathic communication. Whatever you feel. Yeah, but it's what I feel and what comes to my mind is that way. I didn't come down here and talk to them. What was the first message you received from them? Well, the first message I, I received from them was, uh, you know, that uh, they were going to slowly uh, transform me, you might say. They started giving me uh, knowledge slowly every 13 years. So it's not something that just happens overnight. The message is uh, that the people have to be aware that uh, the way the world's going, it's a uh, lot of people... I hate to say this, might die uh, due to uh, nuclear and biological and different types of things that man has developed, uh, especially oil. Oil is killing the planet, the ozone. So we 
got to put a stop to it. And by uh, my mission is to get their technology, which corporate America might not like, and to eliminate oil. I'm number one thing. Also, to remodify our sounds so we won't be killed by all these things they develop to kill us. That's one of the things, too. That's it in a nutshell. Society well, why do you wait until now? Why now? Well, it was up to them. I didn't know when they were going to tell the public. And actually, actually I, it just happened. Uh, I went public. It, was, uh, it really wasn't me that went public. Somebody kind of did something for me. And then once that happened, it just took off. You know, like a rocket ship. And now I'm going public. I knew it was done. That's, that's how I did. Do you consider it soft gifted? I might say gifted, but I don't want to sound you know, special. I'm just like everybody else, but I do have a gift. Why do, why do you think it's so few where anybody else? I, uh, well, uh, I was told because I have a good heart. It's all about the heart. God sees through the heart, uh, whatever, whatever you might call God, super intelligence, uh, the powers that be, you know, uh, up there. And I, I guess they know I can fulfill the mission. That was what the whole thing is. They don't choose somebody that cannot go and fulfill the mission. They chose me. And I, I know I don't know. It's a, to me, it's a heavy responsibility. So what is the message they're sending? Or what, is it, what are they telling you to do? What do you mean by that? What, what are they telling you to do? Telling me to enlighten the... Uh, to come out and let the, uh, the world know that the whole world know that uh, they're here. And they're coming. They're going to let the whole world know. And when they do make themselves present to the whole world, where the government can't hide the fact that they're here, uh, people won't be so frightened because they're here to help us. They're not here like Hollywood in the movies, make them you know evil things, you know, or whatever. That they're abducting people and all that kind of thing. That's all uh, you might call disinformation to keep the public. On the graphs to the people that rule. And that's it. Uh, that's what's happening. Thank you very much for interviewing me. And hope all you people out there um, uh, watch my channel uh, on YouTube. It's called UFO Robert Bingham, our third phase of moon. And you'll see a lot of the stuff that I've been trying to put out. Or they've been trying to put out with the, uh, the terrestrials. Or even I call them angels, actually. But that's, that's Enjoy the footage, and I hope you can grab some good footage today. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Robert, may I have a few minutes to stop a little bit? Are you guys ready? Yeah. Oh, sorry. How do you know that?